In this video, I was able to separate a lectin, which is a carbohydrate binding protein, from a crude protein mixture. I was able to do this with a specific affinity chromatography column, and I was able to test if this was successful on rabbit blood. More on this later. If you want to know more about the theory behind affinity chromatography, check out the video over at the channel Henrik's Lab, link in the description. Also over 95% of you guys aren't subscribed, so consider subscribing if you find this video helpful. The protein mixture containing our lectin, called Chine, was obtained from snowdrop bulbs, which are flowers. This is a manoseparose 4B affinity column I'm going to use, because it specifically binds with our GNA lectin. The crude lectin solution is applied to the column, and a flow through is collected. The lectin should now be bound to the matrix on the column. From the flow through, the OD value was measured at three time points. The OD or optical density, or in other words the turbidity of the solution, represents how many proteins are present in the solution. The OD is expected to increase in this step because saturation of GNA in the column occurs. Next, I closed the column and filled it to the brim with a washing buffer. The washing buffer removes everything that is not bound to and is still left in the column. Samples taken from this flow through should show a decreasing OD profile because in the beginning there are a lot of contaminants that are washed away and towards the end few remain. In the final phase or elution phase, we use an elution buffer to release the lectins bound to the matrix. I used an increase in salt concentration to do this. Salt ions compete with the GNA for binding with the matrix. These salt ions have a high charge density and can outcompete the lectins bound to the matrix, thereby releasing them. The flow through is carefully collected in 10 Eppendorf tubes and on every sample the OD is measured to be able to see which tubes contain the highest concentration of purified GNA lectin. This elution profile is obtained and expected. As you can see, during the collection of sample A4, the highest amount of lectins were eluded from the column. This sample should be more than 95% pure lectin, and to further test this, an agglutination assay was performed on it. As I said before, lectins can bind carbohydrates. GNA can recognize and bind with carbohydrate structures on the cell surface of red blood cells. GNA thereby causes crosslinks between red blood cells, causing clotting of the blood as you can see here. If the blood shows this agglutination, after adding the solution, it confirms that GNA is present in a high purity. Thanks to the University of Yen to make this video possible, and thanks to Henrik's lab for the collaboration opportunity. Go watch his video about affinity chromatography here.